to 37.64. Elvis Presley, Boulevard. Hit it, Elvis. You got it, E. Thank you for joining us for our latest edition of Elvis Back on Tour. Today, we will take you inside Tingley Coliseum in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Tingley Coliseum was named after Clyde Tingley, who was governor of New Mexico from 1935 to 1939. The building opened in 1957. Prior to 1972, Elvis had performed two shows in Albuquerque on April 12, 1956, but those shows were at the National Guard Armory, which is now gone. Tingley Coliseum sits on the New Mexico State Fairgrounds, which spans over 200 acres. While documenting these buildings, it's not only our goal to show where Elvis was, but to share photographs of areas within the building that hopefully will bring back memories to fans that were there 48 years ago. April 19, 1972, Elvis performed in this majestic building before 11,847 fans. It was the final night of a 15-city tour that began in Buffalo and included 19 shows. It was during this tour that the documentary Elvis on Tour was filmed. Something we found very unique at this Coliseum was a tunnel that went under the stage floor from each side of the building. As we always do, we found a ticket stub from this show. Since the seating has not changed, it was very easy to find the seat and see what view the ticket holder had. Most Elvis fans are familiar with the story of Denise Sanchez, the little girl who had leukemia, and her dying wish was to see her hero. That all happened at this building. 
Her wish came true shortly before Elva stepped on stage that night. There is already a video posted telling in detail her courageous story. We ask that you please check it out. For some unknown reason, Elvis was not in a dressing room that night, but he was staged in a motorhome just outside the rear entrance of the Coliseum. When we walked through the same door Denise had walked through, two thoughts kept running through my mind. First, the courage of Denise, pain masked by the huge smile on her face. Second thought, this was one out of a million times where Elvis became someone's angel and eased their pain. Could you sing me a special song, please? I sure will. Don't cry, Daddy, or let me kindle whichever okay. one you want. Okay, I struggled with how I could convey in words my impressions of how Elvis impacted so many lives. I couldn't. Then I remembered the beautiful words of Estelle Brown of the Sweet Inspirations. Her words summed up Elvis, especially that night in Albuquerque. We all was touched by the same angel, Elvis. Michael and I want to thank J.R. LaBerge Esparza and Coliseum historian Roger Beamer for a comprehensive tour of the Coliseum. It was an incredible experience. Also, many thanks to Roger Beamer for tracking down newspaper articles from the Albuquerque Tribune from 1972. We hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a way of saying thanks to Elvis for giving all he had to entertain the world. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram as we will give updates on upcoming videos and more.